Now let's look at problem number nine. In number nine, I want to find dy dx for the curve sine of y equals 5x to the fourth minus 5. And then we want to find dy dx at the point 1 pi. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to take the derivative of sine of y equals 5x to the fourth minus 5. So let's write that down again. We've got sine of y equals 5x to the fourth minus 5. Now, let's take the derivative of both sides of this equation. If we do, the derivative of sine of y is cosine of y. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of y because we use the chain rule on this thing. So we multiply by dy over dx is equal to the derivative of 5x to the fourth is 20x cubed and the derivative of minus 5 is 0. Now we just need to solve this thing for dy dx. If I do, I get that dy over dx is equal to 20x cubed divided by cosine of y. And I'm done. So here's the derivative of y. Uh, now we want to evaluate that derivative at the point 1 pi. So we want to find dy over dx evaluated at the point 1 pi. Right? And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take 1 and plug it in for x up here, take pi and plug it in for y. So we get 20 times 1 cubed divided by cosine of pi. Now 20 times 1 cubed is 20, and cosine of pi is negative 1. So we get 20 divided by negative 1, or in other words, negative 20 for my slope. 